I'm gonna start this off with, I just got done talking for like seven or eight minutes and I wasn't recording. Yeah. Sounds about right. All the things I've learned over time, it's, uh, <laughs> even with streaming on Twitch in the last year, I still end up making mistakes by not checking everything. You gotta dot those I's and cross those T's, man. So here we are. I don't know what to say now because I kind of wasted it all on a recording that never happened, but I've been at it a year. Oh no. I've been trying to find places all day to record at and I'm, I walked away from the house I'm like a half mile away but I'm also near uh, an ambulance facility and it's reasonably quiet over here yeah I've been struggling all day to try to find a place to film I actually tried doing this like two weeks ago and it didn't work out I couldn't find the words I couldn't figure out what I wanted to say and I realized it, I could either put a lot of time into this or I could just talk and I figure I'll just talk now but yeah, April 16th was when I recorded what turned out to be episode zero of Floundering Through Life. And at that time, I didn't know where it was going to go. And I, I'd love to say in a year I figured out a niche for it. But I guess the niche is just me, you know, just doing what I want and, and recording what feels right and what I want to talk about, whether it's happy, whether it's a serious topic. I just keep doing what I'm doing. But that went up, I believe on the day I'm recording this right now. It was April 24th. I did that and oddly enough, I just did a taste test video and one of the first things I did, it was the same day I took episode zero of FTL and made it live instead of unlisted. I ended up doing the, the Pikachu, the Detective Pikachu chocolate taste test. So I guess, I guess when I said taste test videos were a little odd for the channel, not really. So yeah, we've been at this a year now and it's kind of crazy. Uh, have I been successful? I think in some ways. I've been successful in keeping at it and not giving up when I really felt like it. And more or less, I've been successful with keeping up with my goal of weekly content updates. Not everything has been original content, but I may as well just leverage that Twitch stuff at the same time. And then, yeah, it's, it's kind of original. I'm, I'm having to create stuff. It's not a new video, but it's something. And the goal really was just to have something up every single week. And aside from like, last May, I think I missed a week. That was about it. And I made up for that with uh, Flandering Through Japan content since I, I had quite a bit of that. I, I definitely hit my goal last year of having something up every week on average and I've, I've kept it up since then. Stuff doesn't look as good as I would hope and it doesn't sound as good and I just, I like the equipment to, to do it. I'd like to get some of that stuff this year, but everything starts out relatively humble and that shouldn't be a factor to keep people away from doing this. Otherwise, no one would get into it. Anybody that's been doing this five, 10 years, they all started out and they had crap equipment, you know? I'm recording on my phone, I, that's just how I do things. When I finally get a camera, it's not gonna be a DSLR, it's gonna be something that's more an action cam, just something that's small and easy to take around and just does a slightly better job and, and can pull the workload better than a phone can. But I'm, I'm proud of myself for keeping up with this. I've managed to be able to do it. And it's, it's not as successful as I would like, but I didn't give up. So in the end, I was still at least somewhat successful. So everybody out there, we're not gonna go too long on this because otherwise I'm just gonna start to ramble. But anybody in the last year that has liked, subscribed, shared stuff, shown up for the, the very few premieres I've done, anything of that nature, anybody that's also shown up over on the Twitch channel, thanks guys. I really appreciate it. And I hope I can continue doing content for you guys for the next year or however it's gonna take, whenever I decide to stop. At this point, I don't have any reason to. I, I managed to hit my goal. I, I think it was more like six months when I started and I was like, that's not a good goal. I gotta go for a year. And I managed to hit that. You know, is it gonna be, every week still that I put something up. I'm hoping to. The, the way things have been working out right now, I think it's a pretty comfortable schedule to, I don't like forcing myself to work on things when I don't have an idea or when it doesn't feel right. So I just go with it. And when I, I have an idea, I film it hopefully and get it together and, and bring it to you guys. 
All right, gang. Yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and leave it at that point. Again, thank you. Um, I appreciate it, and I hope you guys stick around. I hope you'll continue uh, on this journey that we're taking through life and getting through all the weirdness now and the weirdness that just comes with being uh, a human being. I, I hope I can bring you more fun stuff, but we'll we'll just keep doing what we're doing, man. So until next time, guys, you stay safe out there, take care of yourselves, and we'll see how this next year goes. But thanks again, and much love to you. We'll see you next time.